Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I have just returned from the north of Italy, and I wanted to make a video about writing ChatGPT using one of the prompts from the Discord that I shared with you all a couple of weeks ago now. So if you want to join the Discord, first of all, it is going to be in the description yet again. I highly recommend joining this Discord stun spot prompting because it really is very, very good. So the prompt we're going to be using, if you go on the side and you basically want to click on stuns prompt and you want to look for Langston SEO OP. And once you've found Langston SEO OP, just hit the little download thing here. This will give you a .txt file with this rather confusing looking text on it. What you want to do is you want to make sure you're on ChatGPT4. You don't need plugins or anything like that. And you just want to control V paste everything into ChatGPT. And you can see here, it says, sure, I'm ready to help you with your SEO work. To begin, I need a bit more information on the subject. What is the topic of the article? Who is the target audience? Do you have any specific keywords that need to be included? What is the purpose of the article? Can you provide the link schema for the internal links? Are there any specific style guidelines or branding elements to be considered? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say number one, the topic is black tie attire for men. Number two, target audience is people people who want to appear wealthy. Number three, do you have any specific keywords? What I would do for this is just type in black tie attire for men on Google and just click people also ask a few times and then just grab these like this and just paste them in and then do four. What is the main purpose of the article to inform people? Number five, could you provide link schema? So what you want to do here is you want to get any internal links that you want the article to include. Each article should have maybe a very high maximum of 10. Uh, probably 10 is quite high still. So what you can do is either you can just pick them one by one. So for example, I want to include, let's just say these links here, even though this wouldn't really be that good, but whatever. So we'll include the, in fact, let's get some better ones. Okay, so I've just decided to get my designers for this. So we'll just do all the designers that we have, basically. Are there any specific style guidelines or branding elements to be considered? Our website is isuit.it, and we are a multi-brand store selling around the world. Okay, so this should be all the information it needs. So I'm going to hit enter, and we're going to see what it comes up with. So one thing I noticed about this, which is really, really different to normal ways of writing content, is that the actual output is way better. Like the actual writing. Like, for example, it has problems with formatting. You can see for some reason it's putting random um, books here. They're not random. You would understand why if you knew how this worked properly. But basically, it, like the, the actual formatting is not the best, but the actual content you can see is much better, okay? So it's better written, it just looks better, it reads better, it's adding all the links that we need it to, and to be honest with you, if you posted this on a fairly authoritative website, it's gonna rank, okay? Even though it's quite short. Oh, they've added a continue generate, oh my god. Okay, so they've added a continue generating, finally. Oh my God, that took way too long. Okay, so let's have a look at the output here and we'll see how this would actually rank on Google. So the first thing is obviously how many words it is, which is one of the most important things. So we'll click blank here. Someone asked me the other day um, how you can get, um, how you can paste without all this bad formatting. Okay, so if you click copy here and then do can, and then do uh, control V. So can, I, I pressed copy on the actual chat GPT, this copy here, okay? And then when you paste it, it actually gives you the markdown, okay? So if you want to get good content and you don't want it to be annoyingly formatted, go to markdown to html.com, paste in the markdown, and obviously you're gonna have to delete these books, which is kind of annoying. Um, and it will turn it into well formatted content, okay? so. A lot of times people just like, they, they drag their mouse down like this and they copy it. 
Unfortunately, that doesn't work very well. Okay, so you do not want to be doing that. So you can see it, it pastes it kind of weirdly, although it hasn't actually done it this time. It seems to have done it properly. But yeah, that's just a, an extra little tip. So we've got internal links. Oh, another problem that a lot of people have is when you paste it like this, it creates the link like this, which is wrong, obviously. But if you create, if you do this with Markdown's HTML after pressing copy inside um, ChatGPT, the links are properly created. So if you scroll up here, you can see they are relative links. So if I take the raw HTML and then you put this into WordPress, this will be formatted perfectly, okay? So that's just a few formatting questions that people asked me the other day. So this is definitely on the short side. So we, we would need more content to rank for this keyword in particular, because this is quite a difficult keyword to rank for. So what you can do is you can actually ask it to make sure to write more content, okay? So you can say at the beginning of the prompt of the after you've uh, pasted this big prompt in and it asks you for more information, say write the first half of the article first. And then I will tell you to write the second half. Okay, so you can see this time it wrote the first part of the article and I'm going to say, please continue writing the article. This is just a way to get a bit more content out of this method. Instead of having articles that are only 500 words long and for some keywords like black tie attire, which is very, very competitive, 500 words is not going to be enough. So sometimes you need to think of creative ways to write more content. However, the reason I'm making this video, even though I'm incredibly tired and I've literally just flown in from Northern Italy back into Naples, is because I wanted to show you the quality of the content. It's much better. It's, it's better than ChatGPT4, okay? It's like ChatGPT4 on steroids. It's actually writing like a professional writer. And the reason for that is because these prompts... What they basically do is they force ChatGPT into role play and it turns them into certain people or certain types of people, okay? So Stun, who is the person that um, came up with this whole method of prompting, has actually talked in the past about how his, um, his prompts are helping people, you know, in court, etc., etc. So let's see this time how many words we've got and we'll see how much better this is in terms of word count. 914. So obviously if you want to go above that up to 1,300, split the article into three parts and you will have the desired amount of content. Definitely check out this prompt. Definitely ch join Stun Prompting Discord. I hope this helps. I hope you guys enjoy this prompt and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.